Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 19th to the 25th of October. I'm sorry it's very late, um, but I have issues with internet. I don't have internet, and uh, so, well, cut a long story short, I hope to be back in the air tomorrow, if not the day after. I'm waiting to be connected. Okay. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please sub and like and hit the bell on all and set your settings in YouTube and in your mobile device for notifications. If you don't know how to do that, then have a look under news and updates. There you will find a video explaining how to do it. Now I'm using the Pagan Way uh, Tarot and also the Star tarot. I'm also using the tea leaf uh, cards and also the Archangel Michael cards. Now, uh, I'm also using the bottom of the decks um, to um, uh, for the overall energy. Okay, so let's get started. Your first card is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles means that you've got recognition for your hard work. You might have been an apprentice and now you have qualified. If you haven't um, qualified, uh, you will just get ordinary recognition for your hard work and your dedication to your job and your talents. There could be promotions, there could be uh, recognition in general as well, that you are so devoted and gifted in certain things. It could be that you have a hobby uh, healing uh, people, or you might have a hobby um, instructing people or guiding people, and people are admiring you the way you do it. Then we have the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups means that your wish is coming true. An end of emotional difficulties and new beginnings. Know the blue lines or the light that you see is not the orbs, that's the light of the camera shining upon the card, because it's dusk. I'm sorry for the uh, yellowy golden color. Uh, but I want to get my videos out there because they're late. So y there is an ending to emotional difficulties and there is beautiful new beginnings starting for you. And you've got the rainbow in the back of her, of this lady. Um, that means that heaven and earth is joint. And especially in this time, because we're going into Scorpio, it will be an emotional time because it's a water uh, sign zodiac. Uh, it's a zodiac water element sign uh, Scorpio. Sorry, I'm getting my words twisted. Um, also, at the end of this month, we uh, have Halloween shaman festival in the pagan uh, calendar and. Um, Halloween in our own cal calendar and that's the way the time that heaven and earth are very close together there's only a shimmer of a veil between the two worlds so you might even see signs of beloved ones that have um, have gone and are deceased perhaps have passed over I don't know how you would like to say it but it always remains a pain in the heart and in our memories we have to remember that the people that have passed are in a better place and they are without pain and they are with the divine and they are your guides whether you believe it or not and now I'm looking at the three again and the Holy Trinity so again something has come full circle they are with the Holy Trinity okay but your wish is coming true and they've guided your wish through the energy and now it's coming to fruition You've also got the King of Cups. The King of Cups is Cancer, but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces. 
like I said, this is a very emotional month. This man can keep his emotions under control because he's got the status of the king, but you could, if you are Scorpio, you could be meeting a Cancer, you could be meeting another Scorpio or a Pisces. They might nurture you, they might care for you, you might have passion with them, um, uh, but also they might give you a piece of your own mind. They might tell you, come on, take care of yourself a little bit more, be attractive, don't isolate yourself, you're a type of um, person, Scorpio, that might creep back into its shell, like Cancer. You are very sensitive. Your senses might be over work working overtime. Your psyche might be developing. You listen to your intuition. It might be talking over work working overtime as well. So meditate and contemplate and get your emotions in balance like the King of Cups. You, I'm saying that you might be meeting somebody, but this could also be a Gemini, as you've got the lovers, and you might be partnering up with somebody. This could be in the second week, or this could be, no, this is not a month reading, but why am I saying the second week? Okay, this is the second week. Um, you might be meeting them on uh, Wednesday, because this is Wednesday, but because I said second week, it, it um, could have actually could have effect. Somebody up there is guiding me and sometimes they do take over my speech uh, like I think it was Leo of the Virgo that had a 28 minute reading. It took a life of its own. That is what I mean. Uh, my guides or the angels sometimes let me say th something and splurt it out without me knowing it until I've said it. Never mind, the angels definitely have your back. So believe that you can partner up, but you must not isolate yourself. You have to be bold. You have to take care and nurture yourself. The saying goes, if you don't love yourself, you can't love an other. Then you won't be the magnet to attract an other. So get back into balance. As you've got the judgment card or justice card and the angels are showing up here because it's number 11. You've got a new beginning. You've got a doorway that's given to you by the divine to step through. Like I said, people on the other side are have your back covered. If you are in a judicial situation, justice will be done. You will get what you deserve and so will the other. If you've done good or bad, that is karma. It will come back threefold. But that's why I said get back into balance. Stop hiding um, in your little shell. Come out of your shell and be the king of water. Have your emotions under control and also your emotions on every level the level of lust the level of wanting the level of happiness the level of sadness you do not have to be sad be grateful for what you've got and don't look at what you don't have if you change that mindset and you change your attitude you will come back into balance and things will come towards you that your wish is coming true or your goal there is news on its way because you've got the page of wands so there could be news from an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius there could also be a Libra in the vicinity you might have met somebody let's have a look in July you might have met somebody in August you might have met somebody in Libra so perhaps you know, somebody might be coming back from the previous past. And we've got the three here and we've got the three months here. So something might have been said or you might have met somebody. You might have had an invitation um, in July, August or September and you didn't react on that invitation. And now you are. 
because you want you are going to partner up I'm not saying it's a permanent partnership but usually the lovers are because they're soulmates perhaps you now discover who your soulmate is perhaps you might have met them before in the in the summer holidays when you were on holiday perhaps and now you're coming together and remember you hold the key it, you will only come together if you go out there stop isolating yourself and um, be open to uh, a, a somebody that is not of your idea somebody might differ from your expectations it doesn't have to be a young person it can be a person that's older than you but give it a chance because if it is a Libra they like to talk they have lots of knowledge and they can talk very sharp and direct but they are honest and they usually say what they mean and me and do what they say this could be your soulmate okay the lovers means that is a soulmate partnering up this could be in business or in love so you've got the Gemini and the Libra then we have the eight of cups the eight of cups you are looking up into the sky no don't look up in the sky there's nothing in the sky except clouds you don't want to you want to be in the clouds in love yes you want to be on cloud nine preferably on cloud eleven but to me the clouds also means that um, you are too much in your head or there's something not very clear you don't know something you are looking in other decks they are looking uh, right to the horizon they're looking forward they want new horizons um, you want new horizons you want excitement and adventure that's fine that's fine to look out in front of you but don't just look in front of you look around you because you might miss the signs and don't throw away an old pair of shoes before you've got a new pair of shoes there is change coming here again you've got the rainbow in a different deck so again you are being watched over and uh, you have the six of cups somebody might be coming back from the past you are looking out this is the six of cups you are looking out into the garden and look at the children play perhaps you might be reminiscing or thinking back to when you were a child and the good memories and the security you had and now you might be on your own and you might not feel secure and that's why you are meeting somebody but you must be open and don't have any expectations it might not be the person that you think is right for you because the divine is at work here it could be somebody totally different somebody that um, is um, an other sign than you you like Gemini uh, like a cancer or uh, a Pisces or it could be an other Scorpio um, it could be a Libra it could also be uh, a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo and it could also be um, an Aries again the overall energy is the Lord the Lord is the Emperor and he represents Aries okay now he's very independent and he's got a higher status than uh, the king um, so he could be more business orientated well read uh, well traveled um, because he ha ha can travel to all his different domains and countries okay he also represents an advisor this could be a father figure or a professional person that you might seek advice from 
So there is the Aries, then we have the Two of Cups, again partnering up, being emotionally imbalanced, meeting your soulmate. Again it is Cups, it could be the Cancer, but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces. I think you are also most probably evolving spiritually because you definitely are in the month of spirit and spiritual festivals. And um, just to recap it, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, Cancer foremost, okay, the same as the Two of Cups, Gemini, then we have the Leo, Aries or Scorpio, uh, sorry, Sagittarius, then we have Libra, and then we have Aries. So there could be somebody coming back from the past and giving you a, a present. Somebody else from the past could be coming back and sending you an invitation, since we have the Princess of Wands. Wow. The first tea leaf card that you have is the lily, spiritual love. Yes, somebody might be coming back that you were spiritually connected to. As we have the two rainbows, it could be somebody from uh, from the past that's passed over um, and could be um, giving you signs, but it could also be somebody um, that is a spiritual guide or spiritual teacher or like a priest or um, a yoga teacher or uh, an astrologer, a medium, a psychic, they could come back and give you, if you are remembering them from when you were children and or you th or from just a few months ago or years, they might get in re-contact with you. Then we've got Haystack. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. So this is the Justice card. What you will reap what you have sown. This is the Karma. You will get what you deserve. Mice, discord among friends and family. Perhaps there are disagreements among family or friends. And perhaps they might want to talk to you about this discord. Perhaps they want to come back into your life because no, they know that they were wrong or something was wrongly communicated. Leadership. Show the way. Now you've got an action, action card because you've got the red card and that is action. Leadership show the way. Archangel Michael calls upon you to take on a leadership role. Your love and light will show others the way forward. But don't get used. That is what I'm hearing. Don't let yourself be abused or used. The sword is presented symbolically to you by the Archangel Michael as a call for definite, uh, definite definitive action. The leadership role is one of only a few embrace naturally. You, and like I said, you this month is spiritually, so definitely you are, um, you are more uh, susceptible to emotions and spirituality as you are a water sign. So embrace this leadership, but remain gentle. You may have already assumed this role in some form, however you have not considered it to be leadership. You have required to be a guiding light or pillar of strength within a group, for example, your family, marriage, relationship, office, business, workplace or organization. And here what did we have? Family discord. Perhaps you wanted to be the guide and take the leadership but somebody in the family or 
group didn't want to listen and they um, and you've got spiritual love perhaps they want you because you're sensitive to be their spiritual guide Archangel Michael the great warrior of defend and defender of justice the justice card there you are now stands beside you to deliver strength fortitude and courage and any other quality that your angels feel you require to fulfill this role you may wonder how you actual f actually found yourself in this position the fact is that you are res revered as someone who is capable reliable and knowledgeable you are trusted and admired by many recognition okay uh, by many Archangel Michael fully supports you and will lighten the load of responsibility if required step forward with confidence as you guide others down the road of life so if you need help then ask Archangel Michael to lighten your road okay I'm sorry I've been really busy yesterday we I did the tarot, tarot marathon and we got in we collected 90 euros brilliant if you still would like to donate um, then the lines are open I will be making a special video tomorrow when I'm back online I'm on somebody else's line so I can't take up too much time um, so uh, I will be doing that and if you would like a donation I will give you a nine card spread without Oracle cards or um, uh, clarification cards as it's only 15 euros okay your your wetter the administrator the municipal officer that is doing the finances and the administration uh, will send your details on to me so leave your name and email address and make it clear to Yoetta that you wish a nine card spread reading that's 15 euros or uh, six euros for five cards that's four tarot cards and one oracle card or one euro for one tarot card I've given the I've done this on Saturday and the, on the marathon and I think it's only fair that um, the YouTube viewers get the same um, uh, chance all right sorry I've been speaking too many hours take care and God bless and please like and share